what you're looking at are the polished rocks that I decide to keep. Once I've finished a batch, I'll pick out half a dozen or so uh, that are, are either nice or just have a, a special meaning for whatever reason. Uh, but I've acquired too many, <laughs> so I need to go through and cull uh, my collection to probably about a third of what I've got here. G'day, welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so the plan was to uh, run through, make a quick video of the ones I decided to keep. Uh, I say quick, that was never gonna happen. So what I thought I'd quickly do is, <laughs> again quickly, um, just show you some of these rocks and why I wanna keep them. So this one here, this is a piece of mookite, uh, very plain looking, until you start to think, well, hang on, it looks like a bird sitting on a branch probably waiting for one of his siblings to hatch. So that's a definite keeper, that one. This one here, one of the biggest rocks I've ever tumbled, a piece of mookite again. Um, it's just really tactile, really nice to hold. So he stays. Um, again, mookite, this whole section here is mookite. Just really interesting patterns, swirls. This one here, I think is mookite. It was found in amongst all the mookite. Almost looks like petrified wood, but I'd call it new kind. These are some of the recent batches I did, the brecciated stuff. Um, some more brecciated, this is from a few months ago. Um, Australian Crazy Lace Agate. That's what this is. Not quite as colourful as the Mexican stuff, but still some very nice patterns in there. Swirls and agatey sort of stuff. This here is Chert. <laughs> Pretty average sounding name and quite a common rock, but here it blossoms up well. And you can get some nice stuff. There's these brush added type ones in here. Look good. Peanut wood, again from that batch I did a few months ago. I kept four pieces of that. Uh, some praise. Um, this is something called a concretion. Really nice, I like that. Sort of almost Aboriginal painting. Um, this one here, you look at that and you think, boy, it's a real mix of stuff. And it is, it's, you know, it's jasper in, in green and red and yellows with the quartz vein running through it. The thing is though, that you think that's a bit of a fluke, but it seems to happen over and over. So it's obviously a process that formed them and keeps forming them or kept forming them so yeah I like that uh, more uh, mukite that's from the latest batch uh, some tiger eye again I'll keep this nice big one and there's bits of tiger iron in here as well I'll have to go through and pick out which ones I like uh, what else is there? Oh, some picture jasper. Lots of picture jasper here. And some amethyst. Again, quite a bit of amethyst. This stuff here, breath here. I have a lot of it. So that will really need to be culled back a bit. What else have we got? Oh, some um, standard sort of um, uh, petrified wood glosses up well and heading over here we have some dendritic opalite a few different colors always nice and then some of the mossy ones again there's a video on this very happy with how these glossed up uh, some well there's some green dendritic opalite Lots of uh, abandoned jaspers. This was from a place where it said honeybee jasper. So I'm assuming that's honeybee jasper. Lots of this stuff I'm calling banded rhyolite. Whether it is or not, it's just, if I look on the internet, that's what banded rhyolite looks like. This one here, beautiful colors, nice pattern. 
Again, that was a fairly recent video that I did. Just great. Uh, some soda light, which isn't a native to Australia or Western Australia, but as well as a lot of these ones here that I don't know what that is, but it's not soda light. I think it's a local rock. Uh, some chrysoprase. Chrysoprase is always nice. Some grey jaspers. These ones here that <laughs> have come to be known as bloody beautiful jasper. I found one piece, cut it in half, polished it, but never been able to find any more. And everyone seems to like it and want it. I'm sorry, but I just can't find it. Uh, this is Amazonite. This is a, a silt stone, I guess, or a print stone. Very happy with the way that glossed up, so he'll stay. This is something called Nunderite. Brown with green specks. I like that. Uh, we've been through this stuff, but boy, there's some nice colours and patterns in that. Uh, more of the banded jasper. Uh, lots of, uh, oh, this really needs to be cut back. Lots of uh, Chrysocolla type rock. So Chrysocolla is mainly the green stuff, but then you get Azurite and uh, Malachi in there as well. Whether that's Azurite or maybe, I don't know, is it turquoise uh, you find in there as well? I don't know. This one here, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it has a beautiful purple specks in it. That's not one. It's a similar one. It's a granite, I think. Uh, these sort of snake skin jaspers, I guess you'd call them. Uh, rodenite, quite a bit of rodenite that'll get cold. It's going to be difficult though, I like all of them. This is uh, a blue rock that I discovered when I was stranded a few months ago. Again, there's a video on that. I say blue, it's blue grey to me. It's, if you compare it to a grey rock, well, it looks the same, <laughs> but it is slightly bluer. Uh, this rock here, this was another discovery that I made, one of my first videos, I think, where I found this stuff. It's uh, opalite along with uh, agate druzy pockets. Quite weird, that's another piece there, but different colours. Um, yeah, this is, uh, oh, that fossilised shell, I can never remember the name, it starts with a T. It's not a local rock, so forgive me for not knowing. This is another, see people call um, uh, this stuff here, snakeskin jasper. But then I've heard other people call this snakeskin jasper as well, which sort of makes sense. So, we've got two different types of snakeskin jasper. Again, we've been through the Christopher It's worth having another look at though. This is mainly uh, malachite, I think, in this one. And then some agates. Some nice agates. And then, um, our rock club is having a, a show tomorrow. Um, basically, sales. For club members to sell their wares. It's not always polished rocks, it might be other stuff as well. But yeah, so I'll be selling the ones that I don't keep from here, as well as all the ones over there I'll bring along to sell. And these are my pendants I've done. So there, soda light. That is tiger eye. A few different types of jaspers. A mix of things there, uh, mainly mookite, including some really nice brescioli ones. And then this lot here, I just did, this is the chrysocolla that I just finished. So yeah, I'll put up an ad uh, to show you people in Perth, West Australia, uh, where you can come and buy some polished rocks. 
Come in and say hello as well. <laughs> this is uh, that bit of chrysocolla that was going to be, well, it was going to be a pendant. It is a pendant. Um, but it was meant to be a teardrop shape, but it broke. So it ended up resembling the Starfleet logo from Star Trek. My daughter's claimed that one. Turned out quite nice. Wow, that was difficult. <laughs> this is what I've decided to keep. <laughs> it was actually very difficult. I guess when you think about it, you go out and you drive a thousand kilometers, you find some rocks, you bring them home, you cut them up, you polish them for a couple of weeks. It's difficult to, <laughs> to let them go. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are the ones I'm keeping. Probably more than I wanted to. There's probably about, I think I took about half. So that's what's staying. Yeah, man. Not an easy job, really. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, these are the rocks I'm going to be selling tomorrow at our club event. That is Saturday the 23rd of September. If you're in Perth in Western Australia, uh, you're lucky enough to come along and grab some bargains and say hi. <laughs> uh, I'll put an ad at the end of this video to show where the club event is. Uh, so yeah, basically this is all mookite. The first two rows here are mookite. Uh, next is some chrysocolla and some more mookite. Some more chrysocolla, some green and blue-grey rocks I've found up north. And some amethyst. These are all dendritic opalite. Then we go on to uh, what I'm calling banded rhyolite. I'm not sure if it is or not. These are all chrysoprase, uh, chert. Um, another strange rock that I found, which is mainly opalite. Uh, this is crazy lace agate. There's some rhodonite um, and blue rock. Some of it's a lot, but some of it's a local one. I don't know what that is there. Tiger eye, uh, labradorite, again, not local. Uh, these are tiger iron. So basically tiger eye mixed in with iron banding. Next is some petrified wood. That is some praise. This is a banded jaspers. These are peanut wood, mainly. Uh, Amazonite, picture jasper, some brescia, a mix of jaspers there, and another mix there. Just um, I don't know where to put them, so they wanted to go. And then, of course, all my um, pendants. So, yeah, I'll put an ad up to show where you can purchase all these. Uh, as well as all sorts of other bargains that other club members will be selling.